Here at home, sunny, breezy, and certainly very cold out. Meteorologist Larissa Abreu joins us now. Larissa, you're tracking some <laughs> rain as well. Of course, we're going to end the year on a rainy note, it appears. That is absolutely right. We are going to just wash this year away. And, and Natasha, I'm not complaining. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm ready for 2021. Yeah, you and me both. I've been ready. I've been ready like 10 months ago. <laughs> How long we've been in this pandemic. Same. Same. So it's a, it's a welcome change. We're going to see that rain that's going to hopefully wash all the bad stuff away. Right now, though, we are talking dry conditions. It's also quite blustery out there. Take a look at your sustained winds. Wind speeds right now between 15, 20 miles an hour, and we are clocking in pretty strong wind gusts, especially right here in the city, and that's just pretty much for everywhere. These winds will remain quite strong for the rest of this afternoon and then eventually they will die down as we head towards tonight. But when you factor in the wind, look at what it does to our feels like temperatures. It only feels like it's 28 degrees right here in Philadelphia. Feels like it's 29 in Trenton, but taking the cake up in the Poconos where temperatures feel like they're in the teens. And once again, that's all due to that northwest wind. Tonight, it's going to be bitterly cold, partly cloudy out there. Temperatures tumble 21 degrees. We head down the shore where it'll be clear and cold. An overnight low of 26 is expected. And then look at the Poconos, 16 degrees under mainly clear skies. And we're talking calm winds. And of course, when winds are calm and skies are clear, that means it's very cold. So that's exactly what we're going to see here as we head towards later on tonight. Now, today we're dry. We're also dry as we head towards tomorrow. But notice our precipitation chances do increase as we approach the second half of the week. That's because we're watching not one, but actually two storms that may even linger to the start into the start of the weekend. So let's go ahead and talk timing because as I mentioned, we are dry tonight. We're dry tomorrow. By Thursday, however, here comes storm number one. This is the weaker of the two. It's a cold front that honestly will be losing its steam as it moves and gets closer to our region. It will prompt off some showers as we head towards Thursday morning and we are going to see temperatures climb just a bit. By closer to midnight, as we all ring in the new year, notice how we are a lot drier. At least this particular model is showing that we're drier, maybe a little damp, but for the most part, the majority of those showers will be to our south. That particular front actually sags south of us and then it quickly lifts north again as we head towards our Friday morning. Friday, we're talking rain, some of it heavy, and we may be even introducing a wintry mix, maybe even some ice in there, and that's going to cause hazardous travel as we head towards Friday, but steady rain is expected. Some of it can be heavy at times. We're also looking at the possibility for strong wind gusts. This is not going to be an event just like last week for Christmas storm where we saw widespread wind damage, but we do have the threat for flooding because of saturated grounds. Here are your temperatures Saturday. Natasha, 60 degrees, Ooh. but these temperatures quickly come tumbling down and then we're back closer to normal <laughs> by Sunday. A little bit of a roller coaster there. <laughs> Thank you so much.